Hi friends, it's Miss Courtney, and today I thought we could make a mosaic Easter egg since Easter's coming up this Sunday. Uh, what you'll need is some colored paper. If you don't have colored paper, then you can just color white paper with a marker or a crayon or a colored pencil, maybe even paint the whole paper and let it dry. And then you can cut it up or rip it up into different crazy shapes, different sizes of the shapes, whatever you want, whatever colors you want. And then you'll need white paper that you're gonna draw an egg on and you're gonna cut it out like this. And you'll also need some glue. It can be a glue stick or liquid glue. Um, liquid glue might be quicker to work with because you can just brush it all over the egg and just stick your colored pieces on. But I only have a glue stick, so I'm gonna have to glue them individually. Um, I made a mosaic Easter egg earlier and I kept all my colors together. I did like a section of just yellow, a section of just green. But for this egg that I'm making right now, I think I'm just gonna put the colors all over the place. You can make it however you want with whatever colors you want. I used blue, um, purple, green, yellow, pink. Those are the colors I think of when I think of springtime and Easter. Um, you'll notice, you know, I have some crazy weird shapes. They're not perfect rectangles or perfect squares or triangles, and that's totally fine. You can make whatever shape you want. I find sometimes the smaller pieces work better because you're getting more mosaic design on your egg with smaller pieces. Uh, you want to make sure you leave little gaps in between your um, your mosaic pieces as you're gluing them. Little gaps like that. So this is kind of what we call like abstract art. You're just going to keep gluing the pieces on. You want to cover your egg surface so it's nice and colorful. When I was little, I used to dye actual hard-boiled eggs with food coloring, which was so much fun growing up, but I don't have a lot of eggs in my house now. I've been using them to bake yummy treats with, so I thought that doing a paper egg like this would be fun and different. So I'll still have some sort of colorful Easter egg in my house without using an actual egg that I can bake a cake with or cookies or something yummy. All right, so I'm gonna show you the mosaic egg I made earlier because it's done and it'll show you what your egg will kind of look like when you're done. It won't be exact because, you know, we're all different and we all decorate differently. But this is what my first egg looks like. So you can see I just have my pieces all over. I tried to map them out kind of like a puzzle to see if the edges would fit against each other and I kept my colors all together, my yellow, my green. You don't have to do that. I just liked that idea because I love seeing the pictures of Easter eggs with those decorative stripes. So that was kind of my idea for this look. Um, but this one that I was, I just started with you guys. I haven't finished yet, but I will once I stop filming. Um, I just kind of scattered the colors all over. So two different looks, but both really cool and fun to make. I hope you guys enjoyed. Bye.